Hey guys, welcome to another video. I am standing in front of this beast, the Tata Harrier, in its new avatar, the Jet Edition. This variant is based upon top of the line XZ Plus variant, where you get all the features of XZ Plus. But what you get in this Jet Edition is all wheel disc brakes, electronic parking brake, wireless charger, advanced DSP features, and new leather upholstery with contrast stitching. And it gets this unique dual tone bronze and platinum silver exterior which is limited to only Jet Edition. Priced at 20.90 lakhs for the manual variant, the automatic cost 22.19 lakhs X showroom. Along with the Harrier, Tata has launched Jet Edition variants of Nexon, Nexon EV and Safari which I'll be showing in a separate video. But for now, let's find out what the Harrier Jet Edition has to offer compared to other variants. But before that, make sure you're subscribed to this channel and hit the bell icon for more amazing reviews. Design wise, there are no changes, it is as same as before. On the front, the bumper gets silver skid plate. The grill gets this piano black treatment with bold Tata logo in the middle. It gets dual function LED DRLs with turn indicator. The headlight and fog light are integrated in a single assembly and the headlight unit gets a piano black accent around it. It gets Xenon HID projector setup for the low beam and regular halogen for the high beam. The fog lamp also get a halogen setup. Harrier is built on Omega architecture which is derived from Land Rover's D8 platform. So there are Land Rover jeans in it. Moving on to the side profile, the matte black body cladding is present around the car with some additional cladding on the door panels. These are the 17 inch jet black alloy wheels. The tire size is 235-65R17. Gets independent lower wishbone Macpherson strut with coil spring suspension setup. All the four wheels in the Jet Edition Harrier gets disc brake. Jet Edition badge on the front fender. ORVM along with turn indicator gets piano black finishing. The chrome accent across the window line is extended all the way to the C pillar, gets a Harrier badge on it. Glass panel at the C pillar. In this dual tone color, the roof gets platinum silver finish, gets massive panoramic sunroof which I'll show you in a bit and the shark fin antenna gets piano black treatment. The beefy design language of the Harrier makes it look strong and quite imposing. Body color door handle with keyless entry button only available on the driver side. The B and C pillars get piano black treatment to complement the floating roof design. Moving on to the rear profile, the sleeker looking LED taillights and this piano black applique in the middle makes the Harrier look more upmarket and kinda gives some Land Rover vibes. Gets rear fog lamps here. The rear bumper gets silver accents along with two reflectors and two parking sensors. The Harrier logo on the tailgate gets matte black finishing to it. The reverse light and turn indicator at the back gets halogen bulb. The spoiler gets platinum silver finish with high mounted LED stop light. Gets rear wiper washer and defogger. This is the reverse camera placement. It comes with adaptive guidelines. The tailgate can be opened using the key fob or you press a button over here to open it. The boot carrying capacity is 425 liters, which can be further enhanced to a massive 810 liters with the rear seats folded. Gets rear parcel tray. Harrier is equipped with JBL sound system and this is the subwoofer placement. Here is the boot light and there is a hook. Storage for the toolkit and there is some space here. The wheel is placed under the body. Tire size is 235-70R16. Gets a steel rim. Grab handle to close the boot. The tailgate is heavier than I expected 
which shows the tank-like build quality of the Harrier. The Harrier measures close to 4.6 meters in length with 2741 mm of wheelbase and 205 mm of ground clearance. So that's pretty much about the exterior. Now let's check out the interiors of the Harrier Jet Edition. The fuel lid is placed on the driver's side. It says diesel. The tank carrying capacity is 50 liters. Opening the rear door. It gets black and white dual tone interior with bronze accents on the grab handle. It gets leathered soft touch material at the handrest area. The door opener gets dark chrome finish. And here is the power window switch. Considering it's a rear door, the door pockets get ample amount of storage space and here is the JBL speaker placement. The door gets hazard light which works as a puddle lamp. The window area is pretty wide and big. At the rear, this is the maximum legroom and that is the minimum legroom available on offer. There is some storage space here with USB A type and C type outlets. The rear seats get two adjustable headrests. The seats get premium Beneki Calico leather upholstery with bronze embroidery. There are perforations with tri arrow design pattern. These seats get 60 40 split configuration with isofix child seat mounts and a center armrest with twin cup holders. These rear seats are big and wide with good amount of cushioning. The wider glass area at the back, panoramic sunroof with this white interior makes the cabin feel more airy and spacious. There is decent amount of headroom and ample amount of legroom. The front seats get neatly scooped out treatment with a Maxin holder. Rear AC vents on the B pillar is a nice touch. Tweeter placement with JBL badge. Retractable grab handles, cabin light switch, same on the other side. These grab handles get a hook. Lumbar adjustment available for the driver seat. Now let's jump into that driver seat and check out the front row. Request sensor only for the driver side. Gets black and white dual tone treatment. The practicality of this car is simply amazing. Look at the ample amount of storage space in this door panel. There is a JBL speaker placement. Hazard light also works as puddle lamp. Soft touch leather material for the handrest. These are the OVM controls. Door opener gets dark chrome. The grab handle gets a bronze accent to it. The quality of plastic is pretty decent. And here is the control for the OVM. The black and white dual tone dashboard with textured bronze panel and that floating screen layout looks pretty elegant. The front seats get adjustable headrest with Jet Edition badge and contrast bronze stitching. These seats get 3 step ventilation function and the driver seat gets 6 way power adjustment feature. The seats get side airbags, provide good amount of support and cushioning. They also get tri arrow perforated design on it. And the quality of leather is amazing. Let's get on to the driver's seat. The door shuts with a nice thud. The color combinations on the dash are very tastefully done and the cabin feels much more premium which is basically the objective of this jet edition. The steering wheel gets piano black accent here. These are the controls for MID and cruise and these are the audio controls and phone calls. Says airbag here. Gets push button engine start stop switch. Stocks to control the headlight. And this is for wiper. The instrument cluster gets 7 inch TFT display with analog dial for the speedometer. It shows bunch of information like driving modes, gear selection indicator, range, trip data, power and torque data, odo, fuel level indicator, door open warning and many more. 
The steering wheel gets leather wrapping but no flat bottom design. This is the 8.8 inch infotainment display with 9 speaker JBL sound system. It also comes with an amplifier and a subwoofer. Gets IRA connected car tech with wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto with voice recognition. IRA tech helps you to control the vehicle remotely, find my car feature, geofencing, intrusion alert, driving analytics and many more features. It also displays the AQI as this car comes with built-in air purifier. The JBL sound system in this car sounds absolutely fantastic. There are some physical controls here for the infotainment system. It also gets three drive modes, city, eco and sport. Sport drive mode activated. City drive mode activated. It gets fully automatic climate control and the controls layout is quite similar to ultras and punch. You also get a wireless charger with Type A and Type C USB outlets. Automatic gear selector gets leather wrapping and electronic parking brake with auto hold function. It gets three terrain mode selector with hill descent control Rest switch. Rough road mode activated. Rough road mode activated. City drive mode activated. Twin cup holders with fixed hand rest get contrast stitching on it. Gets automatic day and night IRVM. The driver side sun visor neither gets a vanity mirror nor a receipt holder. Cabin light switch along with mic placement gets reading lamp feature as well. And these are the controls for the sunroof. The passenger side sun visor gets a vanity mirror with airbag related warning. Retractable grab handle. And this is the massive panoramic sunroof. Tata has provided 6 dedicated switches only to control the sunroof and this is by far the easiest controls that I have ever seen in any car. There goes the blind. And let's open this glass panel. The opening is pretty big and wide. The sunroof also get a tilt function. So that's pretty much about the interior of the Harrier Jet Edition. Now let's open the bonnet and check out the engine bay. This is the Cryotech 2 liter turbocharged engine that produces 170 brake horsepower and 350 newton meters of torque. This is the only engine option that you get because the Harrier doesn't have a petrol engine option. There are two transmission options on offer, the 6 speed manual and the 6 speed automatic transmission. Talking about the safety, the Harrier is packed with a long list of safety features. It gets 6 airbags. ABS with EBD, advanced DSP features, hill hold control, rollover mitigation, corner stability control, off-road ABS and many more. So that's all about the Tata Harrier Jet Edition. Let me know your thoughts as well in the comment section below. If you like this car or the video, do hit the like button to let me know and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.